All right. So YouTube is your boy Lunar. This video is by that boy Will. We react to him before. And it says, man instantly turns divorced woman's logic against them. And uh, I'm going to load it up. I'm going to react to that one. And uh, this one should be a good one. If it loads. All right, I think it's loaded up. Let's get it cracking. The fact that if, if a man is running a household, believe me, there's there are things missing, and it doesn't make it better. And I think that what society does is we always blame black women or women, period, for things that um, are, are not right in the household, right? This whole idea that women raise degenerate children is, is kind of ridiculous. So what I'm saying is, in a household with a man, and we're, we're comparing a, a single father household to a single mother household, the fact is that the single father household does better because men are more technical, micromanaging, and more of the disciplinarian. That's not suspicious. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, and I, I was raised in a single father household, and we all came out straight, no kids, no nothing. Damn sure not gonna fight with authority. Did we went in the streets, we weren't doing none of that crazy shit. My daddy was gonna beat our ass if all of us if we would did anything. So that is true. That's just that's just off experience. I'm more scared of my pops than anything. Still to this day I know that nigga, man. That's just that's just pops. That's what he gonna do. And he gonna get with you. And you not finna do nothing to disrespect him or his name. And you not finna be going out in out in public acting the ass and all that stuff, especially when we was young growing up. Oh man, it's old. We let them even hear something that you thought, man, you better have a good explanation of why somebody was saying something. Women tend to say that they have this intuition. Oh, yeah, I kind of feel like things. Well, you feel like something. That's why you keep messing with the wrong niggas. Well, you feel like something. That's why you're not uh, going to that, going into st uh, uh, job fields that evolve STEM, which pay higher because you feel like you don't want to do that and you feel more social. Actually, I'm only 34 years old. Y'all women are older than me. Tell me, is there any, has, have you ever made a good decision? with leading with your emotions first? I, I agree with you. Women tend to say that they have this intuition. Oh yeah, I kind of feel like things. Well, you feel like something, that's why you keep messing with the wrong niggas. Well, you feel like something, that's why you're not uh, going to that, going into st uh, uh, job fields that evolve STEM, which pay higher because you feel like you don't want to do that and you feel more social. Actually, I'm only 34 years old. Y'all women are older than me. Tell me, is there any, have, have you ever made a good decision with leading with your emotions first? I, I agree with you that you should not make decisions emotionally. Point proven. I so, ain't seen nobody raise their hand yeah, right no, there. I, I'm gonna, I, 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 agree giving, you on, I agree with I you giving, on that. Hey, bro, he destroyed her with logic, bro. Listen, even as a man, the most diabolical decisions that I personally made was when I was acting out in an emotional state. Yep. I did some crazy stuff in my teen years. You know what I'm saying? Consa uh coincidentally it was around the time when I was going through a lot of family issues. So I definitely had some stuff weighing heavy on my heart. I was fighting more than usual. I was being very disrespectful to teachers, all kind of stuff, man. But it all stemmed from me being emotional, man. Real talking to his point. When comparing apples to apples, female household, male ran household. The one with the men gonna always do better, almost every time. It's just that simple. So I met this uh, young lady, work at the coffee shop I go to uh, this morning. She asked me, and she said, Mr. Willie, you seem like a nice man. and You always come in here and you're very respectful. I said, thank you very much. And uh, she said, I, uh, I wonder if you could help me, uh, help me pay my car note for this month because I'm behind and we don't get a lot of tips here at this restaurant. And I said, well, you are a young lady, the very nice lady, you always been nice to me. So I told her, you know, I, would, I don't mind helping you. 
give you, help you out. But, you know, I, you know, in my day when a young lady wants some help, she got to help me, you know. And she said, Mr. Willie, what you mean? I said, well, you got to just, you know, come on over and uh, give me some of that tender, tender loving, you know, the tender kind that I like. And um, she said, well, I think my man would have a problem with that. I said, so your man don't have a problem with you asking me to pay your bills, but you got a problem with me asking you for some pussy. Now, that don't make no sense, baby. Listen, your man gonna have a problem with me asking you for some coochie, and you don't think he gonna have a problem with you asking me for some money? But why don't you have a problem asking your man who's going to ask you for some coochie for some money? In other words, you dating a broke dude and you giving away everything, but you want me to come over here and simp for you. Right. Oh, Lord, it's not happening. God damn, it's not happening, bro. <laughs> I saw this really cute guy at the grocery store the other day. So naturally, I followed him to the checkout counter. And when he gave the cashier his credit card, I peeped it to see what his name was. And then I Googled him and found his social media profiles. And I was able to tell that he was single. So I went through his friends list and I found his mother's page and then I looked through his mother's page and I saw that she was a member of this book club that's in my area so I sent a request to join the book club so I went to the book club meeting and I met his mom there and we bonded over some books that we both liked and she just thought I was so nice and I brought it up randomly in conversation that I was single and she let me know that she had a son that was single also that lived in the area and maybe it would be cool for us to get together and chat sometime. So I gave her my number, which she gave to her son. And this morning he texted me and asked if I'd like to get together this weekend and do something. So I guess we're going to go on a date. I'm really excited. Was this what female game looks like? This is some that's, real creepy shit that's right here. crazy. <laughs> Bruh, if a nigga did that, he would get the cops called on him and y'all know that bro oh fellas y'all gotta be careful. imagine locking in with her giving her a commitment and then this video resurfaces <laughs> you gonna have some weird i'll be sleeping with one eye open bro she give me crazy vibes check those medicine cabinets bro i'm really i'm really telling y'all some useful shit right here bro check those medicine cabinets bro we are not medical professionals i don't think we violate no hipaa laws but go ahead on and check with your local jurisdictions and the local laws that apply to your city and state but i don't think it's against the law to be curious and just go to the internet with a couple of quick google searches that just so happen to be the names of the medications that's in her medicine cabinet man and i think you're gonna find some stuff that has to do with mental uh, the mental aspect of medicine. <laughs> Cause this one here is gone pecans. You heard me? <laughs> Boy, I'd be scared if that was my girl and I found that shit out. Man, who have I been laying next to? I'm big on this and a lot of men disagree with me for this, but I don't think a man that's not financially in the position to have a woman should have a woman. Hmm. So broke men should not be dating. I don't think broke men should be dating. Either. Okay. I don't think broke men should be in relationships because one a man that's broke is not happy yeah i would agree because when a man has financial income and he has money he feels a lot better about himself and he feels more accomplished when a man doesn't have money and he's not where he wants to be in his life he'll never be able to focus on a woman 100 percent because he's going to be focused on chasing what he wants yeah so for me that it sounds harsh but it's very true yeah if a man's not financially where he wants to be he will never be able to give a woman what she deserves. Nah, real talk, I feel that, man. Like, if I could start all over, bro, I wouldn't be seriously dating no woman until I had me some money, goddammit. And that's not to spend on them. That's just to attract them and do the fly shit that I want to do anyway. See, here's the thing. When you out here getting that bread and you doing fly shit, that's going to attract all the women anyway, dog. Like, real talk. Bro, imagine you a single bachelor. You in shape. And I'm not in shape at the moment. I need to start cutting. But I'm solid, goddammit, boy. Nigga told me the other day, he said, boy, I ain't gonna fight your big ass. Boy, I had to put that iron on you. That's what he told me. That let me know that he'll, he'll real life do that because he can't see himself going toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. But hey, to each his own. But imagine you at a little spot. You low-key, you by yourself. You sipping on a nice glass of Chianti or maybe a Shiraz, if you will. 
and it's a <laughs> lovely young lady sitting down there. You look like a refined man. You look like you got something going for yourself. It's the middle of the day and you is not at work, but you spending money. How you make your money? This is what she thinking. Then you look good too and you're smelling good. You got on the creed. Hell yeah, fucking right. Mm-hmm. She's, she's intrigued now, bro. Like, it's really that simple, dog. But when you broke and dusty, it's just not like that, dog. Unless you're a specimen. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it's going to be harder for you to get the but when you got your shit together, dog, they gonna come to you, bro. It's like a magnet. It's like throwing bait out there. If I were to leave my husband, there me and lined up who were more oh, yeah, than willing to take care of me and my daughter. That's a damn lie. But are always... they the men that you want? Yes. Oh, Time out, because me. listen, this is what All women get head. confused. <laughs> There's a lot of f***ing simps who will do it. Because, they, 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 because they don't they have up. many options. These are the guys that don't have an option because listen, that's the problem with the game is women feel like because there's always men lined up, they get the f***ing delusion that they can have any guy. Just no, be hard. Given the option, I'm trying to pay attention. You're going to pick the better option. A woman with a kid is never the better option between a woman without one. I don't care what a man told you. It's about Ooh, what he showed you. I don't care what a man told you. It's about what he showed you. Lord have mercy, Jesus. That's about a child you're talking to. <laughs> but true. let's lay the facts out now. Yeah. Let's just say you're a man and you like this woman. I'm pretty sure you would like that woman more if she didn't have kids. Just think about all the time you could spend with her alone. <laughs> Imagine just having her to deal with. Imagine just having to deal with her emotions. And imagine just having to deal with her and not her ex, her baby daddy. I'm just saying, bro. It just seems like a much easier life. That's all I'm going to say about that one. Three signs that you're ugly. Number one, you're bald. <laughs> you're bald. You're automatically ugly. All you do is try to hide behind beanies, baseball caps, try to make yourself look better. But in reality, those things aren't doing anything for you. Because guess what? Under that hat, under the beanie, you're still bald. You will forever be bald. <laughs> How about we stop having high hopes that your hair is going to grow back? Or you're going to have waves? Because you're not. Trust the process. The process was over when you were first born. Say, Brian ain't going to lie to you, shorty. I'm knowing already that one of these bald head dudes broke your back in and now you're, per you're, you're, you're messed up in the head because he don't want you like that. That's what it was. Mr. Clean, then clean, ransacked that thing, and now you all discombobulated and all that kind of stuff. That Radu was, he was definitely touching the back of the oven, hitting the factory reset button on you, and now you had to come to the internet and say that all bald head dudes are unattractive and ugly. <laughs> yes, sir. I know, I know a hit dog when I see one. God damn it. Twenty-two year old NBA player had her have had the kid by him or, or is having she had him or having him got the kid by him bro she's passed goods passed around goods you you oh so you think you're the guy because you got a pretty woman and she's pregnant you don't know oh you got to the party late you don't know she done she done top all of us off but <laughs> congratulations on the new on the newborn <laughs> Yeah, they're going to call him sassy for speaking the truth. That's good. That's it. Say, bro, real talk, man. That is some real messed up positions to be in. Dealing with a woman that's pregnant for you, possibly, who was a pass around for the industry. Think about that, dog. When he goes into a locker room, it's a... not. I ain't going to say a locker room. When he goes to a party where there's going to be a lot of entertainers, athletes, and stuff like that, 100% chance of one of those guys having been with that woman before think about that bro now us normal guys let's say we from a, a a fairly decent sized city we meet a girl cool we can go places and chances are no one in that place has been with her but that's dre and michelle trust me in the places jalen green gonna frequent a lot of people have been with his girl ain't got topped off man this dude telling the truth man somebody else should have told you this shit. i'm here telling you the truth <laughs> There is one thing that I wish he had from my game. You got to complain for the ball. You got to complain. Monday morning, if I have five catches, 70 yards, we can't do nothing else till we have a meeting because I'm not getting the ball. That's it. Throw me the ball, period. Be a bigger diva. 
That's the advice for your kid. Be the bigger diva. That's pretty good. Yeah. I asked him what he would do if he were you. And his answer was, I would go in there and say, give me the f***ing ball. Straight up. To what degree have you started to demand the football more? Uh, I mean, not much, really. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> not much. Bro, a lot of times, man, if you just listen to your daddy, bro, you're going to have a much easier go at it, bro. Complain for the ball, goddammit, and I'm saying that figuratively. I ain't saying it in a literal sense of the context he's talking about. I'm talking about just in life. Go after what you want, man. And if you ain't getting it, make some noise. <laughs> Straight like that, bro. Right. Real talk. You have seven kids by four baby mamas. Why? <laughs> why? Damn, that's a lot. <laughs> Cause he don't like to pull out, duh. Is why? Uh, that clip. My boy old school. Like he ain't even buzz. What is this? I honestly don't. In my situation, because I can only speak for me, I, it was not designed that way, but this is my journey. That is my blessing, and you know that's a part of my story in which I can help share with others on what to do and what not to do. Hey, man, listen, that's a lot of kids, bro. That's a lot of damn kids, man. Seven. Seven mouths to feed, seven different personalities to manage, four different mamas to deal with, bro. Like, I would never suggest any of you dudes put yourself in a predicament like this, man. A lot of y'all gonna get women pregnant who you're not gonna marry, who you don't wanna be with. And that's because you out here being reckless, bro. And that life is gonna be hard. That's gonna be hard on your finances. That's gonna be hard on your mental health. It's gonna be even hard on the kids, which is really the most important thing. There's no way to guarantee that you're not going to mess up when it comes to being a parent and being a father. But, bro, the best thing you could do is try to have a baby with someone that you actually like and love and see yourself being with for a long time, bro. Other than that, man, uh, you run the risk of a whole lot of bad things happening to you, bro. I've seen so many dudes basically financially ruin themselves by having too many kids, bro, by different women. Y'all got to stop it, man. Not this is not the move. Can I tell you something crazy about New York? Not having a job makes your life so much easier. I know you're like, huh? So boom, let's say you got mad kids and you don't want to work. You just want to stay home all day, smoke weed, be lazy. Go to the shelter, free housing. What's the next step? An apartment, free housing. Or you're going to have a little copay. But guess what? You don't have a job. So where's the copay going to come from? Cash assistance. Where's the food going to be coming from? Food stamps. So as long as you don't have a job, you will always have a roof over your head and you will always have food in your stomach. They will always look out for you. Say, bro, I'm telling you, man, it'd be a bunch of pretty hey. bums out here, man. Like, they got the game figured out, bro. I went to school with women like this, man. They mama put them on at an early age, man. All right, you're 14. Listen, we got to start getting things ready. You're going to need Section 8. So that you can get the hell up out of this house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, bro, it's a mindset. It's a poverty mindset that a lot of people are just getting passed down from their people. It, I, it just don't make no sense, man. And that's why they say the rich gonna stay rich and the poor just gonna get poor. It's really that simple, man. It's a mindset, bro. Like, if you are not even trying to go out there and get it, you gonna always be poor. You might not get it if you're trying, but at least you're trying. But you definitely ain't gonna get it if you're not trying. It's really that simple, bro. That's true. Damn, and then this is gonna be the fa same type of woman that wants you to come in and, and splurge on her. Girl, if you don't get your bum ass on. <laughs> well, I'm not, she's probably not speaking for herself, but in general. So you're making the claim that women are disadvantaged in the workforce and that they don't have the same earning opportunities that men do. This is a breakdown of many of the blue collar jobs throughout society Let's go. on my phone right here with what percentage of each of those jobs are worked mm. by men. Will you go ahead and read the first 10 statistics off of mm. this, please. Roofer, 90%, logger, 93%, veteran, 90%, plumber, 97%, mechanic, 92%. Oh, the hard jobs. Coal miner, 94%, firefighter, 95%, iron worker, 95%. That's not suspicious. So those are like well-paying, decent-paying, blue-collar jobs yeah, that are completely... Yeah, you don't want any of those jobs, but you could have any of those jobs as a woman. I don't understand. It's like, yeah. I'm, I'm hearing like, hey, you know... 
wi us women are disadvantaged, but you just told me I don't want any of those well-paying jobs. Is it disadvantage or is it that you just don't want the job? No, fem feminism can only exist when there's being like, hey, you know, wi us women are collar jobs yeah, that are completely yeah you don't want any of those jobs but you could have any of those jobs as a woman i don't understand it's like yeah. I'm, I'm hearing like hey you know wi us women are disadvantaged but you just told me i don't want any of those well-paying jobs is it disadvantage or is it that you just don't want the job no fem feminism can only exist when there's air conditioned comfortable office jobs that don't require physically laborious work so true Wait, but Hey man, listen, I'm gonna tell y'all some real stuff. It hit different, dog. If you work with women, I used to work in restaurants a lot of times, dog. And I'm not gonna pin all the women, in, I'm not gonna paint all of the women with the same brush. But <clears throat> if any one of y'all ever worked in a restaurant, man, you have to run people's food, right? The chef, the cooks, they cook the food, they put it in the window. If you want your food hot, you better hope they got some hardworking people that work in a restaurant because oftentimes what I remember as a server, um, a lot of people, especially women, men did it too, but it was mostly, mostly from my recollection, it was a lot of entitled women that I used to work with, especially when they were young, living with mom, didn't have no real responsibilities and bills. They would just hang around with they, just looking pretty on their phone and stuff while the food is dying in the window and then, you know, some dude would come and help them out. Or if they're in the weeds, a dude would come and help them out. And who's picking up all of the extra shifts? The men. Who's picking up, who, who's, who's giving away the shifts? The women, bro. Like, I'm telling you, bro. Like, I wish I could call one of my partners right now, but I don't want to expose him because he's still working the business. But he could tell y'all, bro, like, man, they really don't work as hard as us a lot of times, man. They got a couple of women in there that do their thing. Like, I'll shout one out, man. I used to work with a girl named Adriana, bro. She's one of the hardest working people in general that I know. Damn. Real talk. Not just a woman. Not just a man. She's one of the hardest working people I know. But she's a fucking unicorn. <laughs> I'm a mom of That's seven. Even and I'm retail. 33. Even with retail from what I, like, when I worked retail and stuff, like, all the women complained. They was, like, they was always, like, just they kept up the most drama every time when it was me and the bros working we had everything done in like an hour we wasn't stopping talking we wasn't stopping gossiping we we'll say like uh especially when i was like store manager at fye say we had to do a planner it was one female that well that i worked with when we when we worked we rocked out had everything done instantly but everybody else that worked there, oh man, they in there talking, gossiping. You gotta find them. They in the back sleeping, all types of stuff. Like it was like he not lying, bro. He not lying. Like, they didn't want to work, want to work with certain people. The half of them didn't like each other. It was a lot, bro. It was a lot. Okay. With being a mom of seven, do you think that a woman of um, <laughs> multiple children? is still capable of finding someone. First, let me ask you before I know about multiple men. Do the kids have the same father? Yes, they do. Okay, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. No. Okay. Oh, so that's what shit. Hold on. We're talking about seven Whoa. Children. I'm, okay. Hey, I want to apologize to her, to bro. You <laughs> because that's, there's, it's Damn. absolutely possible for you to find a quality man. What makes it a tad bit difficult is that you have to find a man who has the financial footing to take care of you and several children. And then you also have to be able to find a man who is going to be willing to come in and create structure in that household. Seven children on one person is a lot to create structure in. So there's a lot that this man is gonna to have to come in and do. On top of that, creating a secure space for you when you have to be a mother and you have to take care of most of the majority of the things that happen in a house. Are you going to have the ability to be able to love this man in a way that he needs to be loved in a way that registers as love to him when you have to love seven other individuals? You're going to need a man who can love those children as his own. Yep. That is a huge responsibility to put on a person who does not have those children. Those are not his kids. But I, if I were you, no disrespect, I'll try to work it out with the, with the father. No, no, hear me say hold on, hold on. Brian going to lie to y'all, man. Whoever get with her, he definitely going to have the eighth baby with her, dog. Because he going to mess around and be throwing them back shots at her. He ain't going to be able to contain himself. He's going to shoot the club up. I've seen this play out many a times, bro. I ain't going to lie to y'all. In real life, man, dudes definitely be getting with women like this. 
problem is they don't know what the hell they're getting themselves into, bro. They're usually young, dumb, naive, and, you know, they're very optimistic about life and, and the world. They haven't been knocked upside the head yet, man. I just don't see no rational thinking man who got his shit together coming along and taking this woman with seven children, bro. Especially if they're young children, too. Oh, Lord, you set yourself up for failure, dog. It's unfortunate because... You know, she seemed nice enough, I guess. But seven kids. Let me ask y'all this. Before y'all say something about me, and I'm talking to the women, man. Would you date a nigga with seven kids? Even if they got the same mama, but he has them full time? Exactly. What do you get out of that? I don't think y'all doing it either. Let's be real. The men who kiss their wives goodbye when they leave for work live something like four years longer than men who don't. But the six <laughs> second kiss, which we recommend, has much more potential than that peck on the sheep cheek. What is the six second kiss? A kiss that lasts at least six seconds. Why not five or four? Because or <laughs> uh, oxytocin gets secreted. With a 20 second hug or a six second kiss, you're both secreting oxytocin. And that creates a sense of psychological safety and connection and bonding and bonding yeah and i'm about to go get me a little six second peckaroo real quick get some of that good old oxytocin god damn it i don't care what y'all talk about man <laughs> real talk i'm gonna get me some straight like that in a big old long 20 second hug coupled with the six second kiss oh lord i might go pay a bill god damn it i'm playing y'all but nah if it's backed by science man listen it's it don't it, it's not suspicious i'm gonna just say that I mean, it should be science. Don't lie, the my boy. The fact that if, if oh, a man is let it just start over. Anyway, y'all uh like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what y'all think about the video. Uh, it is what it is. Hell, he ain't lie, not one bit. And a lot of those videos didn't lie either. So, it's your boy Luna. I'm out.